What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today is Saturday and a very exciting day because it is the grand opening of Gideon's Bakehouse at Disney Springs. So we got here, I would say about nine o'clock. It's 9.33 and this line is already crazy. So these cookies, I've never had them. So let's see if they're really worth this long line. So let's go. As you guys can see, so this line, if any of you guys are familiar with Disney Springs, there's like this little covered shopping area. The virtual queue is already back here. So that gives you a little indication of how crowded it already is and how long this line is. I'm in front of Chicken Guy right now. So this line, from what I see, it like wraps all the way crazy around. So it is extremely long but it's a virtual queue so i'm assuming they're gonna take our info and then we come back but we'll see what happens we've been pretty quick as of right now i wonder how long it's gonna take us to get to the front of the line thank you for visiting us today just a few reminders face coverings must fully cover your nose and check out this cool soul poster they have outside of the theater i still haven't seen it yet still going from what I'm seeing on Instagram the virtual queue is at a three hour wait right now and it's 944 so they don't even open until 10 and it's a three hour virtual queue right now so by the time we get up there let's see what the wait time all right it looks like we're getting close to where they're gonna put us on the virtual queue so it looks like we're gonna hear a wait time any minute now Oh yeah, they're taking everybody's info, so we're definitely going to be put on the virtual queue right up here. I just got put on the virtual wait list. Y'all, this virtual wait list is a seven and a half hour wait. Seven and a half hours. But I am, I'm coming back for my cookie. So they sent me a text. Your estimated wait at Gideon's is 300 minutes. There's the tail end of the virtual queue now. Man, that actually moved pretty quick once they took down your information. I'm home now, but I wanted to show you guys my new mask that I got. Isn't it cute? It's a little big, but oh well. I got a size large. It's the new spirit jersey ones that just came out. I'm just kind of wearing it around the house right now to see if I'm gonna like it or not before I like wear it out. It's really big, so that's why I don't think I'm gonna end up wearing it when I go back to the springs, but so I'm gonna hang out here. I feel weird having this on inside, but whatever. I'm gonna hang out here until they text me. I'm actually probably gonna head back a little bit earlier just so I don't miss when they text me, you know? Anyways, I will see you guys back at Disney Springs at Gideon's. Later. And at 6.08 p.m., I finally got my text that it was my turn to head over to Gideon's to get my cookies. I was so excited. I was laying in bed and I literally jumped out of bed and ran out the door. Okay, so now I have to wait in this line now that I have checked in. But I now have this menu here. So many options. What should I get? I'm just kidding. I already know. Original chocolate chip. Thank you very much. Woo, we're in. Oh man. Oh my gosh. It already smells so good in here. And for those of you who aren't familiar with Gideon's Bakehouse, I want to read you exactly what I found on the Gideon's Bakehouse website of a little bit of the backstory of Gideon's. In his never-ending search for baking inspiration, Steve Lewis, the bakery creator, purchased what he thought was an antique cookbook published in 1898. To his surprise, the margins were filled with faded notes and doodles from what appeared to be a young boy who had dreamed of becoming a baker. The name written at the back of the book was Gideon, and Steve decided to fulfill that child's wishes with the name Gideon's Bakehouse. Paying tribute to the origins of the name, Gideon's shelves are lined with strange works of art aging books and curious antiques from the Victorian era. Okay, 10 hours later, it's 7.37. Whoop. Seven hours later, I got my cookies. So I'm gonna start off first with the peanut butter iced coffee. All right, here we go. My first 
ever Gideon's iced coffee. I'm so excited to try this. Okay, here we go. Oh. I want to chug that. This tastes this tastes like a melted Reese's peanut butter cup. Oh my gosh, this is like going to be very addicting. Oh my gosh. This iced coffee is the best iced coffee I've ever had. Well, I can't wait till I get home. I have to try this now. Oh. Oh my gosh, these puppies are huge. I'm gonna try the cookie. I'm gonna, I'll show you guys more of this when I get home. Oh, this is like the size of, the size of my head. <laughs> okay, you ready? <gasps> okay, here we go. I have no words. This is the most amazing thing I've ever eaten. Mmm, mmm, this is worth 10 hours, 11 hours. Steve, my man, you did not disappoint. And I wanted to show y'all this picture. I actually got to meet the creator, Steve, right before I went in. He was out there all day saying hi to every single person that was going in, thanking them for showing up. He knew we had all waited literally all day to try these cookies. So I thought that was really cool that he was standing outside there all day wanting to talk to everybody and just thanking them for supporting his business. And this is something I was so excited for. They were giving away 1,000 signed artwork from Steve himself. I got number 766 out of 1,000 and check it out, there's his signature. I ended up getting three cookies, the chocolate chip cookie, the triple chocolate cookie, and also the cookies and cream. And my favorite was, of course, the original chocolate chip cookie. And just like that, I am officially in a cookie coma. So that's going to wrap it up for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and definitely stop by Gideon's if you're ever at Disney Springs. See ya!